a headlining tour, a number one song record, and a new EP. Yes, all of those things describe my next guest, Colton Dixon. Colton, welcome into the studio for the Sammy Cohn Show. Thank you. I think this is my first time in the studio it, with you. It is. We've done a lot of virtual. We've done virtual, and we go back a minute. And yes. so I am pioneering something with you on the Sammy Cohn Show today. We're Come doing on. we're doing shoulder to shoulder with Sammy, and in honor of your new EP, which you explained to me, Canvas. <laughs> Yes. I thought it only appropriate that we see just how artistic you are. We know you're a great singer and songwriter, but Thank can you. you paint, Colton? If I tasked you with recreating said album, <laughs> could you do it? We're going to find out live on camera during the interview. So <laughs> while we're talking, we're just going to we're each going to do it, and we'll reveal our masterpieces at the end. So okay, okay we're not going to look at each other, but okay. so okay, so you get started whenever you feel good. Right. We're going to do this now. I alluded to a record. You had the number one song last year with Build a Boat. Yes. Like, uh, not only a number one song, the longest running number one song of 2022. What do you attribute that to? Um, man, th I wish there was a formula yeah. to <laughs> radio. Uh, right? Let me tell you. Um, I've asked that, I have asked that before because I'm like, surely by now someone has been able to say, Here's like what it takes <laughs> to have a hit song, right? It, yeah. Or is someone doing that and like selling that for me? All we the don't people I've it. talked to who have had multiple number one hit yeah. songs, they've all told me the same. There's no formula. There's no, just well, okay. uh, so never mind. Just make it authentic and okay. real, and people will connect with that. And uh, I'm just so thankful that people have connected with the message of that song, which is having having faith even when even before you see whatever you're believing for come to pass. That's yeah. the story of Noah, right? Right. He's, God asked Noah to build a build an ark, build a big boat. And yeah. They didn't know what rain was. They've never experienced this that before. That's such a good point. It's so weird, right? Like, like, what would you even attribute that to? Well, I guess you can't because we don't know what it, something is. But like, to be able to have that faith that yeah. just does, even when we don't understand. It's, it's pretty remarkable. Um, and it kind of... It kind of brings even more beauty to that story for me personally, yeah. because wow, like, what kind of faith did that require from mm. Noah? And yet here he was. And the only thing, if I were Noah, there yeah. would have been a lot of back and forth. Like, <laughs> God, are you sure you know what you're doing? You did just you must pick the not right have person? as much faith as me. I, I've never <laughs> argued with God. I don't know what you're talking about, Colton Dixon. But uh, okay, yeah, I'm with you, right? But Again, what's so beautiful about the story is the Bible just says that Noah was obedient and did everything mm. like God asked him to. And, and I was like, wow, Lord help me in that area. Um, but it's true. We all need help in that area. And I think a song like Build a Boat um, gave me some encouragement to say, you know what, regardless of what it looks like, I'm going to believe yeah. that God's good and we're going to make it through. And so. you brought Gabby Barrett, another American yeah. Idol alum, which we said it's been 10 years since you've been on Idol, which seems insane. So we're not even going to talk about that time period. Um, <laughs> but what, what made you one want to do like a, a new version of it and why Gabby? Um, I think Gabby's amazing. Yeah. I love uh, personally her her stance and faith, mm. um, even though she's in the country market, yeah, um, she's really uh, outspoken about her beliefs. Yeah. Her and Cade both, her husband, yeah. which was also who was also on American Idol. Oh, I didn't know um, that. That's we, a fun uh, fact. We watched Idol that season, and I, I remember see. seeing her sing, and my wife and I both going, "Holy cow! What a voice! Incredible! This un unbelievable!" Um, but we were talking about bringing somebody on to do the song with me. Gotcha. And her name got th you know, got yeah. brought up, and I'm like. Yes, would she? Yeah. Like that would be amazing. It's gorgeous, by the way. Thank I love you. it, and it is. I say this in the best compliment possible. It is an earworm. Like I, I it gets <laughs> stuck in my head, and I love it because there's a lot Good. of songs, frankly, that get stuck in my head that I wish didn't. <laughs> um, so to have those verses Amen. resonating. Yeah. So I, thank you for that. Okay, I can't. Like time goes so quickly, but you are headlining your first tour. And Jordan St. Cyr is a guest, I know, but like, yes. what does that feel like to now be doing this for as long as you have and to get to headline your first tour? Man, it's been 10 years since That's American I Idol, mean, and I'm just still kind of blown away that I get to do this in any capacity, yeah. but um, to have my first headline tour, like, to this capacity, really, since my, the top of my second record, which was ages ago. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm just really grateful. And I'm grateful that people are buying tickets. If you haven't, do it. Yeah, like <laughs> multiple sold out shows, by the way. So I know it's yeah. starting by the time this airs, like you will be on tour, it's already starting. I mean, 
it's just, and now to have the, the new EP that we are, I mean, I think this, one of these may be the next new cover I'm expecting <laughs> to be sold, maybe for merch. Um, we'll have to do something We'll have to do it. something, maybe charity, like I think people will be paying million dollars, but this EP, um, which I learned is not technically an album, six songs, is that what we're? Six songs. Six, okay. Yeah. And where did this come from in the last minute we have? I'm going to put you on the spot. How yeah, do you encapsulate this, this in like 30 seconds? So it's called Canvas, and mm -hmm. the idea is that I am just a vessel, and God mm. works through me um, to tell his story. And I that's think that's, that's what we all are. And yeah. we, we tried to recreate that idea visually, um, that we are just a part of what God is doing here. So there it is. There it is. Well, speaking Canvas. of recreating visually, let's, um, yeah, let's... Okay. Hey. Even, you know? You used the orange. I, Kudos. Just because it was there. I wanted those. Like, I felt like I had to. It's I, not as accurate. I almost but did, but I was kind of running out of time. I know. You did a better job. But Listen, yeah. go see <laughs> this amazing gentleman, Colton Dixon, on tour. Uh, the new EP is coming out in April. Yeah. Colton, thank you for joining me on thank the Sammy Cone Show. Me, Sammy. Always good to see you. Good to see you. And we'll sign this so that Perfect. we can auction these off. Let's do awesome. It. Okay. Good. <laughs>